To ensure optimal performance and safety in the operation of your Holland fifth wheel, take a few minutes to learn these proper ILS slider repositioning procedures. Holland ILS slider repositioning procedure. After completing a successful coupling procedure, it may be necessary to reposition your fifth wheel to optimize weight distribution. Before initiating the repositioning of the fifth wheel, make sure that the tractor and trailer are on a flat and level surface and in a straight line. Engage the tractor and trailer parking brakes and place the transmission in neutral. Now set the cab valve to the unlock position to release the fifth wheel slider plungers and lock bars. Be sure to visually check that the plunger bars have retracted completely and that the fifth wheel has been released. Note that it is not necessary to lower the landing gear to the ground to reposition a Holland ILS sliding fifth wheel. Release the tractor parking brake while keeping the trailer brakes engaged. Move forward or backward to achieve desired fifth wheel position for the proper weight distribution for tractor and trailer. Once the desired fifth wheel position has been achieved, set the cab valve to the lock position to engage plunger lock bars into the slider track. Place the transmission in neutral. Set the tractor parking brake, exit the cab, and make a visual inspection. Make sure plunger lock bars are fully engaged in the slider track brackets. Warning, do not operate the vehicle unless the plunger lock bars are fully engaged into the slider track brackets. The fifth wheel slider repositioning procedure is now complete.